Now as we continue reflecting, here's another question we often hear from teachers. They think about student-centered learning and they wonder, are my students really ready for project-based learning? And this is a good question to unpack with teachers because it, it often gets into some, some concerns that teachers might have. Um, they may feel like their students don't have the academic skills or they haven't learned how to collaborate. And so how are they going to be successful in these settings where they may be working in teams or um, working more independently than they have in the past? And again, I would suggest that um, project-based learning is a way to get students ready uh, with the sorts of skills that you may be wondering about. Um, so schools that are doing project-based learning in Chile and, and elsewhere are helping students develop their 21st century skills, their success skills, right alongside their academic skills. So that may mean you need to really intentionally teach skills around collaboration or around creativity and innovation um, right alongside your academic um, content. But don't assume your students aren't ready just because they don't have those skills yet. PBL is your chance to develop those skills so your students can be successful. The same with collaboration, which often happens in, in project-based learning, and some teachers worry, my, my students don't know how to work well on teams. Well, here's your chance to help them get ready to be uh, effective members of a team. This is an example of a project um, or students who are really thinking hard about collaboration and, and defining what collaboration means and what it sounds like. And one young learner, I think she was nine years old, talk about effective collaboration being snapping ideas together. So in her own mind, her own investigation around collaboration, she came to her own sense of what this means and why it's important. Teachers will sometimes worry that their students aren't ready to share their work with a public audience. Maybe they've never done this before. And so in project-based learning, you start small. Sometimes it's baby steps at first or a very small audience. Maybe one team will present to another team uh, right in the classroom before you're ready to reach a larger audience. And you start to introduce things like how, how do you use visual um, aids in giving a presentation? How do you help students develop their confidence as communicators? And eventually, students are really ready to take on the challenge of big audiences, um, like you see the students here sharing their ideas with their entire community. We often see audiences really grow over time as students have this opportunity um, uh, to make uh, share their solutions, you know, with the wider world. And also students get the chance through project-based learning to understand that they can make an impact. They really start to see their own growth and the value of their own ideas. These are, are things that um, bring students along in this journey. If you're worrying, are they ready for this? I think if you give them a chance to experience project-based learning and the support that they need, um, they will often surprise you with what they're able to accomplish.